Spoiler warning, I'll be talking about the second episode of Licorice Recoil in this video, and if you haven't seen the episode yet, then I suggest you watch it first and then come back here, okay? Okay. So this episode was really fun, I really enjoyed everything from start to finish, though I wish we got to see what happened at the final scene of the first episode where the big bad enters Likoreko, and in this episode they talk about it and it seems... Nothing really happened, just that he was talking as first customer. But we get to see the opening and I have to say, it's a banger. Claris just doesn't miss in any of their songs, I love the visuals, they're really smooth. I mean, of course they are because it's the opening, but I really liked everything the opening showed us. They didn't spoil as much other than the characters, but I was able to figure out just from the opening that it did showed us Chisato and the old radio tower being destroyed. And as we learned from the last episode, Chisato is the rumored licorice who defended the radio tower from terrorists. But seeing the radio tower getting destroyed here, and especially a bunch of other licorice were present there, it might be a different story than what we were told after all. And that itself excites me to know what really happened and I'm just curious to see how the events truly transpired. I really hope they give us that backstory within these 13 episodes. I also love the sequence here with Chisato and Takina in different clothing. They look so gorgeous in them. Added with the smooth animation, man they're really cute and slaying them. At the last parts of the opening as well where Chisato slightly kicks Takina and she responds with a kick but stronger than Chisato's, now that was cute and funny. But they also showed us what the relationship is. Chisato goofs around and Takina responds seriously. Small details like these are really things that I appreciate because it shows the effort and care the team really put into this. Like I said in the last video, Takina is serious and overconfident while Chisato is carefree. Their ideals clashing with each other. They even showed that more in this episode as well but I'll get to those later. Either way, the opening was really good. So to summarize episode 2, remember the hacker from last episode? Well his name is Walnut and right now we thought he died but he didn't die and is now on the run as his colleague Hacker betrayed him and is making sure that he actually dies this time. Walnut asks for help at the Likoreko as Mizuki saw the message. Chisato and Takina's mission is to protect Walnut from his pursuers. Badass action scenes, badass Chisato moment, and Walnut dies. But that's not all. It seems as Walnut was Mizuki all along and was wearing a bulletproof suit that has a flashy bloodbath. And the real Walnut was inside the suitcase all along. And Walnut is a girl by the way. She joins Likoreko and everything ends well as we get another cliffhanger of the same evil dude talking to Mika but this time he actually asks Mika on what he and Chisatu does on their job. That's basically episode 2 for Licorice Recoil and I really enjoyed it. We get to see more of Takina and Chisato's relationship build up and fold as they interact more and speak out their thoughts and it was really enjoyable. We get to see Takina complain about Chisato's way of thinking of helping those in need, especially the enemies. The conflict between the two is just them and their ideals not mixing well together. But as the episode shows us, they avoided more conflict at the end because of Chisato. She showed compassion to the enemy leader in which led to him telling his men to not fire on the two of them. Sure, maybe they could have handled the enemy. I mean, surely they can. But the episode also shows us that even the enemy has something to care about. Chisato asks the enemy on who he would eat dinner with tonight. And that brings more life to the characters. They're not just villains or heroes. They have their own lives, loved ones, and motives for doing such work in the first place. And at the end, we get to see Takina do a questionable move that even she found surprising. She aimed her rubber band at Chisato while she was busy talking to Kurumi. Ah yes, Walnut's name is Kurumi. She avoided the rubber band and as she looked at Takina's way, hitting Kurumi in the process, but that is a little bit interesting to see. Somewhere down the line, Takina could end up shooting Chisato because of her ideals. Highly unlikely, but not impossible. The thought of these two exchanging blows with each other is really intriguing and at the same time heartbreaking. Before the big reveal, Takina apologizes to Chisato, not because she failed, well that's also a part of it, but she couldn't keep Chisato's ideals on not letting anyone die. We see more of this in the gunfight where Takina aims at the arms and not somewhere critical. 
unlike in episode 1 where she just uses a machine gun killing everyone. I mean, she has a pistol here but she's also a licorice which is well trained and all that. I could be overanalyzing like I always do but that's what it feels like watching the episode. So seeing Takina telling Chisoto that it's impossible trying to make sure everybody doesn't die, friend and foe alike, it puts an interesting conflict on the table. And also, I gotta talk how badass Chisoto was at the fight. She simply dodged the bullets confidently, so it's either she has a power that doesn't let her get hit, or she's very lucky, cause we do see her miss the rubber band tacking a shot at her at the final scene, or she's just that good. I mean, she is the top licorice after all. So I would say this episode was really enjoyable. The group is already together and it's just the second episode. I really like that because we get to see the characters interact with one another more and grow attached to them. The plot is really promising, the opening is perfect, the ED slaps and the animation is top notch. It isn't like MAPPA nor Ofutable, but it still is amazing. And all credits goes to the animators, the voice actors for really putting small details into the anime and giving it life. I hope you guys enjoyed this review for the second episode of Licorice Recoil. Check out my review for the first episode or you could go watch my review for the first episode of Engage Kiss. Click right here on screen if you want to. And that's all for today and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See ya!